Hey yo everyone! Um, so I bought some stuff again, big surprise. Uh, and I was playing and doing and unboxing the same way I always do. But it turns out the box that I got looks like this. Um, so I can't really do it the way that I usually would want to. Uh, so my thought is that I'm gonna open this and then I'll show you the like I open this off camera and then I'll show you the things afterwards. I am so excited about this. I know I say that about basically everything, but you guys have no idea. It's gonna be great. Oh, I can't wait to show you and I can't wait to actually open it. Oh my god. So, I guess I'll see you when I have opened it. Bye. Alright. Everything is unpacked, uh, and now I'm looking forward to showing you guys everything. Uh, I bought quite a lot, and uh, <laughs> I gotta say, the problem with this order is that it took so long. Like, the standard was like a few weeks, and then it was delayed, so that was another almost two weeks. Uh, and I can't remember why I bought everything, uh, <laughs> especially like the fabric. Um, and also some of the fabric is for projects that I already kind of scratched. So, that's great. <laughs> but the first fabric here is this beautiful, like, uh, upholstery fabric. Um, my plan is to use it for the trim on Anastasia's uh, final dress that I'm making. Uh, and maybe do some beadwork or something on it to make it extra sparkly. Speaking of sparkly, I have uh, some very pink and sparkly fabrics here. I don't know if the camera picks it up all this well. This isn't sparkly, it's just like tool. Um, this one and that's all for my uh, Barbie cosplay I'm doing the final dress from Barbie and the Nutcracker uh, Clara uh, with a bunch of other girls doing like different Barbies and I'm very excited about that then I have this it's just like a standard poplin kind of thing I can't remember what I bought it for um, luckily it's like a fabric that I can very easily use for a lot of stuff. Uh, so it's great just to have, so it's fine. Then I bought this. I thought it would be very pretty for, I want to say y Yusuke? Um, I'll put the name um, and maybe a picture. A uh, girl from Shop It's that I'm also doing a cosplay for. Um, I just like when there's a little bit more texture to it. Um, so that was it. Then I have this, which is like a, a soft shell, like a jacket kind of uh, fabric. Because I was gonna do Viva's look from the Rising Star uh, animation. But I scratched that, so. It, luckily, it's the fabric that I can kind of use, so it's fine. Then I have a bunch of like fabric swatches here because I wasn't sure what to get. Uh, blue for Anastasia's massage thingy. Uh, I wanted to check out these like glittery ones, how glittery they actually were. I think I, I really love this one, uh, so that might actually. The one I chose this one also to just see. Maybe I'll buy some of that for the Barbie. And I have this one also for like Anastasia for the like pinkish part. I want to do it a little bit darker. Uh, that's just what I feel like. This is definitely for Barbie. Like a little bit of shiny uh, to that too. And I have some more upholstery esque fabric it was forced by Anastasia that I could do something like that. I think I actually like that. That might be kind of cool. 
We'll see. I have a few other options in here. There's some more hobby stuff. This is like... I don't know if the camera picks it up, but this isn't like that glittery, but this definitely is. Um, and it's more of like a, a bigger weave. Bigger weave? Like it's not as uh, fine in the weave as this one. Another upholstery fabric. This one is white because I thought that maybe if I laid over the gold one it would show pretty nicely. And it kind of does. Hmm. It's also opportunity. Possibility, I guess you would probably say. More for Anastasia. This one is probably like the one that is closest to what she actually has. A very pretty shine to it too. Uh, but I just really love when there's like a little texture in it. Um, and I'm glad I got both of these. Like both the back fabric and the overlay so you can really see how much actually shows through. Because this one, I mean it's there, but it's just not as much. I actually think that, oh, oh my God. this one shows better, but I'm not sure it's yellow enough. I'll figure something out. Uh, then we have some, because uh, I want to redo Anna's, uh, Queen Anna's dress, like the yeah, dress underneath um, at some point. The fabric is just horrible. Uh, the dress itself is fine, but... It's just awful fabric, uh, so here are some swatches for that at some point. More pink for... I was just supposed to say Bill, that's not it, uh, Bobby. White tool. Another white tool. Another kind of white tool. Another upholstery fabric. I don't know if it's like yellow enough. Um, this in itself could also just be like really pretty. More tool. This one is very like holographic ask. Uh, not quite holographic, but it's more that feel than actually glittery. I saw this and I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, so I had to get a swatch of that too. I don't know what I could ever use that for, but um, it's there. This is another one for Queen Anna. It's like bridal sateen. I think that's for Bobby. I think she has like a middle, I don't know. Another glittery, oh that actually picks up quite nice. Uh, tool kind of thing. And another like white sateen kind of thing. So yeah, that I, I think that was all the fabric. Uh, and honestly, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this, but this is not the thing that I was most excited about. Because what I'm most excited about is. Drum roll, please. This baby. Uh, and once again, I don't really know. Jesus Christ. This. Uh, I don't really know how I'm gonna do with like, unpacking this uh, and getting started with it and such. Uh, I wish you had brought a knife. But like, I've just been so excited about getting this. It's been one of my plans when I got the, my tax return. Uh, and I've just been excited about it since got since uh, uh, Steal the Spotlight made a video about it. I'll link that down below, you can see uh, what she made with it, because that was pretty cool and I want to 
This is a lot of like cardboard. Uh, in itself, the like box for the cream cut was in another box, which was in the big box. Like it was a lot. And you see, it has like these a lot of cardboard. Then we have. I don't know how this works, so. But they're here. Oh, I also forgot a box of fleece, because I want to make a bag for my switch, and uh, this was the least amount I could buy, so. Uh, now I have that. It's also fine standard material to have around. Looks like the rest is just like cords and stuff, but here. Is the beauty. I kinda like it. Also, it's in the like champagne color because that was on discount, but I do not mind. Uh, I bought the tree cut maker. Yeah, tree cut maker. Um, not maker free. Um, I was looking at that, but this was on discount, so I wanted. To do that because that's like a lot of money difference. Um, so yeah, and then I bought a few. Like this is like more true holographic uh, vinyl, and I definitely need that because the. And then we have some transfer foil uh, as thing that it looked like I'm gonna need. I bought some uh, metallic foils, there's like <coughs> different colors in here, uh, red, green, blue, copper, gold and silver, and this one back, then I have some printable vinyl, I thought that could be pretty cool, um, then I have to try this, uh, I'm not gonna unpack it until I use it, but it's like fussy. Like it, there's a protective layer on here, but it's like kind of velvety vinyl that I can like cut and put on stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, Cause I think that might negate some of the plasticky feel it could give to some projects. Then of course have the glittery ones. It's also a lot of colors, but it doesn't say which ones. A lot of glittery colors. Then I bought some like single stuff that I thought was very pretty. This is like a rainbow glittery one. And we have this, because that's fun. Um, and then we have just like normal foil in a few colors. Um, I have some tools. I uh, figured that's probably gonna be nice since there's not any with the machine. I was considering buying like a starter bundle but eh, they didn't have one so. This is like a little ribbony thing. I kind of wanted to buy just I think this is a meter of it to like kind of test out how it looks because I can't get swatches of ribbons unfortunately because uh, I might want to use this for Anastasia I haven't decided yet and if the camera picks it up really poorly uh, if it would just focus maybe but 
at last. Um, then I have a few zippers, um, and I'll tell you guys, I've been waiting for these zippers for so long. This is the only reason I haven't moved on with my air project. I've been waiting for those for like four months, uh, four, months. four weeks. <laughs> Then we have some... Oh yeah, I, I, I love washi tape and I saw that they had this one that you probably can see. It's just very cute and holographic, so I needed it, clearly. I do not have a problem, you have a problem. Another one of washi tape. It's very standard, but it's pretty. I don't care. Then I have some like uh, pearls, beads, whatever you call them, like little gold ones. I was thinking for the Anastasia uh, that I was talking about earlier. The like, I don't know, outline or something. Then these I've been seeing like so many places, and I've just oh one of them because I have some from when I last time like I wished it uh, on my wish list but they're so big that they don't have any holes to it these I'm excited about using uh, especially if I'm gonna do any sort of like leather or feather work last few is some patterns I have like a corsage pattern that I'm very excited about I uh, already have plans for that We'll see. Uh, then I have this dress pattern, which honestly I just thought it was very cute. Um, and I definitely want to make like that at some point. Because it's adorable. Then I have like the jacket that I was going to make Diva's jacket. Um, probably not happening. And then they had this like uh, undergarment collection, cosplay collection. By Mikhail, so apparently. And I just thought, eh, why not? It might be interesting because I'll definitely have to make both like corset and hoop skirt for multiple of my projects. Um, so that's great. Uh, that was some haul. Uh, I, honestly, I don't think I've ever unpacked this much money basically uh for this much value before i am so excited because it's like multiple projects uh, i'm planning on finishing Aerith uh, for next week um she should be all done then i can move on to some of the other uh projects uh, i might do the chuppets cosplay first because she's probably gonna be like a summer cosplay uh, and I already have been trying to kind of make a mock-up for her and stuff. And then I'm just really excited to try and use the Grey God. I, I can't wait to get started with that. I am so excited about the possibilities that's gonna bring to everything. <laughs> but that is all for today. And I'll, uh, I'm thinking I'll try and do more like vlog style so I don't just talk to you guys whenever I buy stuff uh, but maybe talk to you guys whenever I do stuff uh, instead um, so I'm thinking I'll just check in once in a while and s say like what I'm doing and what I'm planning and maybe do some cost test and something with you guys um, I don't know I, it, it's gonna be fun I uh, for me, I don't know about you guys. I'll look forward to it. Uh, and yeah, I, I think that's kind of it. Um, let me know uh, what you think. Uh, if you guys, uh, this is all bought from uh, Stuff Kiosken, uh, which you can buy like in Denmark, but I know they ship from Germany, so maybe you can buy other places. I don't know. But especially if you're from Denmark, let me know if there's anything you need, like a link to or something, then I'll be happy to share. But with that said, uh, bye. See you guys next time.